Mentally math. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's, well, we're, we're missing some people, and those people can watch this video! <laughs> so, hello, channel. people at home! Uh, yeah, you can do that, too. I did that, I'm both. Oh, are, you, are you subscribed? Oh, 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 excellent, excellent. Okay, so I'm gonna give a couple minutes to get out ahead of me. Try the new side dub song on, on my personal channel. Okay, about 30 more seconds before I get started. Be sure you're started. Not wandering around. Okay, I'm going. Alright, so I can look at A as 70 times 23. It's the same sort of thing, so I can think of that as 140 plus 21, be 161. Then. Exponents, we're dividing by 100, so two boingies to the left. Boingy, boingy. So that will get us four and 35 hundredths. And this is 49 plus one divided by five. So we make x equal 10. Uh, metric conversions. So there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter because there are 1,000 millimeters in a meter and there are ten, uh, 100 centimeters. So we're just dividing 75 by 10. It's a 7 and 5 tenths. And this is just 12 minus 5 equals seven and four fifths so one fifth would be twenty cents four times that would be eighty cents then finding the mode oh, who's popular today <laughs> looks like twenty three is just everywhere these days Twenty three. <laughs> it's popular. It's just insanely popular. Everyone loves them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> twenty five cents. This this is actually pretty fun. Twenty five cents. Double that amount. Fifty cents. Then double that amount. One dollar. Double that amount. Two dollars, double that amount, four dollars times five is twenty dollars, add twenty is forty dollars, divided by ten is four dollars, and then divide that by ten, you end up with forty cents. Yeah, I think you doubled it too many times. Yeah. Oh, did I? Yeah, once, oops, uh, once oops, 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 oops. I, I doubled my doubles? Yeah. Huh, okay, hold on. Double that. Okay, wait, double. Oh, double that. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Pardon me. Double that amount. Then double that amount. Wait. Wait, so. Yeah. One, two, double that amount. So, so okay, so 25 cents, double that amount. Uh, double them up. Oh, I see. Um, then, oh, okay. I I should have put this one down here. Okay, so then that's two dollars. Okay, then times five would be ten dollars. Then, all right, add twenty dollars. Be 
thirty dollars divided by ten be three dollars and then divide that by ten we got thirty cents 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 okay all right well actually let's let's go back and look so today's lesson is fractional parts of a number percents of a number um it's pretty simple but it, we get to the point where we get to the types of problems that we might expect on the ctp there are seven examples which seems like a lot so i'll probably go through these simple ones pretty quickly so oh and uh saxon likes to do this so what number and for some reason i i i always end up feeling like i have to say it like this so they do this for what number so we're not going like x equals and then and then our equation here we're actually representing what number w n what, what number, number? Okay, yeah, so what number is six tenths of 31? So all of these are, all of these six tenths of 31. So all of these are kind of multiplication ones because if you're saying, you know, what is six tenths of 31? That's just six tenths times 31. You know, kind of like, kind of like, say, say, if we're, say, if we said, um, what is one half of four, right? It is, is just one half times four is, you're asking, what is one half of four? You know, so then you get four or two, it's just two, it's two is one half of four. Or, you could phrase that as what is five tenths of four? You know, so five times four is twenty, but we've got one thing behind the decimal, so we could put that there, and so that also gets us two. All right. So if we're saying what number, what number is six tenths of thirty-one? We're just multiplying it. Nope, nope. That would be that dividing it would be saying how many units of six tenths are in thirty-one. Right. Okay, so then we multiply it out. Mr. Patrick? What? Could we also do it in a way uh, by saying uh, thirty-one divided by ten times six? Um that's kind of adding extra steps. I mean you know, uh, what find the path that gets you there the most intuitively, but that's not how I'm teaching it today. And then, so then we look at our, our problem here and we go, okay, there's one digit behind the decimal. So I'm going to put my decimal boinky right there. So basically we get what number equals 18 and 6 tenths and 18 and 6 tenths is 6 tenths of 31. Da -da! Okay, so same for this. So see if you can figure this out and write down the equation. Try doing their format. 3 fifths of 120 is what number? So once again, what number? And then so if it's saying what is three tenths or but what is three fifths, excuse me, of 120. So I'm going slowly to let you figure this out faster than me. Um, this would be better if you were doing it in your notebook. So that like we're taking notes. You know. So it's just Three fifths times one hundred and twenty, and you know it's nice to put your slash one under it so that you can look at your cross canceling goodness. Yep. Yeah. Do we have to do it that way, or can we just make the decimal of it? 
Oh, this is this is the Saxon example I'm teaching. So in for this example, yeah, it'd be good if you just did it this way. And then we can look at some cross cancel goodness. Like so we can go, oh okay, well actually there's uh twenty-fives in a hundred, and then add four for the twenty, so I can turn this into a one. Turn this into a twenty-four. So I'm just left with three times twenty-four. Which gets us what number is seventy-two. And seventy-two is indeed three fifths of one hundred and twenty. Okay, so getting into percentages, it's just a matter of thinking in terms of of converting that percentage into a number you can use in an, in the equation. Works for either a decimal or a fraction. So say the jacket sold. For seventy-five dollars, forty percent of the selling price was for profit. So, how much money is forty percent of seventy-five dollars? So, you can think in terms of percent to a fraction, or you can think of in terms of percent to a decimal to solve this. So, uh, pick whichever one you want to do. I'm just going to do both pretty quickly. So for this one, if we're if we're converting this to a fraction, we can think of so uh, forty percent is really forty hundredths, right? And then we can do a quick okay. I, I can just erase these two zeros. I'm dividing each one by ten. Is the actual mathematical operation I'm doing. And then I can simplify simplify that to two fifths, right? And so then I can do two fifths times seventy-five dollars. Everyone, and then I can I can so let's see. Uh, there was so then let's see ten plus five. Fifteen dollars, and then two times five will get me thirty dollars. Two times five. Two times fifteen. Excuse me. All right, then um, percentage to decimals. You can think of it in terms of forty hundredths, which is also just. Four tenths. All right, then times seventy-five dollars. And so setting that up as as that, we can say two seven seven times four three hundred, and then I think, oh, I've got one digit behind the decimal, so I can put my decimal there. And hey, I could just add another zero at the end for cents. Da da. So thirty dollars. Both paths will get you to the same place. Yes. Uh, I wait. Did you do it one of these two ways? How I got the thirty? What with the fraction? Yeah, because when you cross multiply, uh, multiply two fifths, but. Uh, seven, five over one. Yeah. yeah, well, 15 over 1. It's 2 fifths. So that's one reason why I put the slash 1 under it to keep that straight. So let me, let me see what you're doing. Okay, uh, no, because your 2 is on top here. 2 times 15. Um. You, yeah. Okay. All right. Wait, 15? Why was why, why there a 15? Because we did cross-canceling. 
They're so seventy-five divided by five is fifteen. Oh. Okay. All right. A certain used car salesman receives a commission of of eight percent of the selling price of the car. So what that means is that if he sells a car, then he gets eight percent of the money that gets paid for the car. Like he might not make a lot of money per hour, but you know if he makes a few of these sales a month, then um, well we'll see. He he makes quite a bit. So if the salesperson sells a car for ten thousand eight hundred dollars, how much is the salesperson's commission? So essentially, what this is asking is. What is 8% of 10,800? Guess what you do with those two numbers? Or guess what you do with these? If you want to figure out what 8% of 10,800 is, what do you do? No, you do not divide. Yes, multiply, but what do you need to do first with the 8%? You need to convert it. Convert it. Um, oh, not 8 tenths, that's 80%. 8% is, is basically 8 over 100, or 8 hundredths, excuse me, or 8 hundredths. So, I think... Uh, So I personally think that for this one, just doing it as a decimal is the best idea. I am talking very slowly because I'm hoping you're doing it before I set it up. And that you're just checking your methodology with me. Okay, now one person pointed out that it kind of only works for this one because there's two zeros at the end. I could just erase those two zeros at the end of, of 10,800 and erase my decimals and just have it be eight times 108. But that only works because it's two zeros at the end of the 10,800. So I'm just going to kind of just do this the way you would do any decimal multiplication. So 8 times 0 is 0, 8 times 0 is also 0, and 8 times 8 is 64, carry my 6, 8 times 0 is 0, plus 6 is 6, then 8 times 1 is 8. Okay, it, it'll work if you do it with fractions, what? And then, um, then I'm going to count how many, z how many dust, uh, Digits I have behind the decimal, that's one, two, so I can place my decimal point, one, two, boingy. Wait, is eight sixty point the answer? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe next time do it as a problem like this instead of using the fraction. Okay. Might work out better. Uh, I think I think this is the most straightforward way to do it, not with the fraction. I think the book also agrees with me. Okay, oh boy, we're running out of time here. Okay, what number, okay, so this is just mental math. What number is 25% of 88? 25% is 1 fourth, what's 1 fourth of 88? 22! Okay, good talk. Okay, um, so these kinds of problems, they're not hard, but they can appear on the CTP test, and I almost guarantee it will be on your next math test. So you've got two steps here. You have, so I'll, I'll just, I'll just uh, read, read the problem here. So a bicycle is on sale for $119.95. The tax rate, 
is 6%. What is the tax on the bicycle? And what is the total price including the tax? Oh, yes, I just got an email about it. Okay, so, so first thing is you need to figure out what is 6% of $119.95 and then if it's saying what is the total price including tax what does that mean you should do as your second step yes add the tax to the uh, normal price add the tax to the normal price they do this every time you buy almost every time you buy something that is not food okay so let's give you a moment to work on that and then I will get started. So the first thing you need to do is figure out what is 6% and then add that to the total price. So I'm going to take a couple of deep breaths. We are not doing spectacular on time here. So I probably need to sort of wrap this up. All right, so first of all, I'm going to multiply by six hundredths. Oh, oh, yeah, um, uh, this one, the Pizza Paradox, uh, doesn't count, or, or the Pizza Paradox is in effect because we're not talking about units, so you do need to round to the nearest cent. You cannot pay half a cent in this situation, or seven-tenths of a cent, as it were. Okay, and this one, one, two, three, four digits behind the decimal. So one, two, three, four will get me my decimal here. We cannot do seven tenths of a cent. So we are gonna carry that over to the second part of the problem as $7.20. And then we add that to the original price. Are there the normal numbers? $7.20. You just, you, you did this out? Yeah. Okay, well you can't have seven tenths of a cent. So, so let us remember that for next time. Okay. No biggie. Okay, getting us to $127.15. Okay, and you know, this is actually the same problem, so I'm, I'm going to kind of uh, just wrap up here because we, I would like to get started on our, uh, or oh, um, my, my computer's about to run out of power anyway. Uh, I would like to get started on, um, our video presentation before I have to leave. Essentially, this is the same problem, except there's one little difference is what would you, so to find the total price, including tax of an uh, $18.95 book, a $1.89 pin, and a $2.29 pad of paper when the tax is 5%, well, you do the same thing is you would get 5% and add it to the total price. What do you need to do with these numbers first? Yes? 
Yeah, so this is exactly the same as example six, except that uh, you would have to um, add all three of these numbers together and then multiply that total by five hundredths and then you would need to um, add that amount to the total price just like we just did Oop. and my computer is now going haywire so okay I'm signing off here hopefully I can uh, get this up onto YouTube before the computer runs out of power.